Autumn at the family farm was very wet. Rain had turned the ground into a sloshy, muddy mess. Watery muck was all over the place. The street was muddy. The farmyard was muddy. Even the tracks between the fields were muddy. Tech's wheels were covered in muck, but he wasn't bothered by it, not at all. No, indeed, Tech was enjoying himself, even in all the mud. Beep, beep. Tech drove straight through the muck and splashed in a puddle. The mud made it easy for Tech to find his friends. He didn't have to toot his horn or call out for them to figure out where they were. All he had to do was follow their muddy footprints. And as he left the farmyard today, Tech saw someone's muddy footprints. Now then, I wonder whose footprints these are, thought Tech, as he followed the trail through the mud. Footprints here too, said Tech. Quack, quack, flying foxes. How did you sneak up so quietly? asked Daniel the duck in a terrified voice. He was certain that a fox had snuck up on him. Hello, everyone, smiled Tech. How on earth did you know where to find us? quacked Daniel. Easy peasy, said Tech. I followed your footprints. I hope that the fox doesn't have the same idea, Quack, thought Daniel Duck, or we'll be in trouble. Tech, called Roy. Roy startled him. Oh, goodness me, said Tech, as the ducks giggled at him. Quack, quack, quack. See? That'll teach you to startle your friends, laughed Daniel. Now it was Tech's turn to question Roy. How did you know where to find me? Easy, said Roy. All I had to do was follow your tire tracks in the mud. Roy was busy. He didn't have time to hang around. Come on, Tech, he said. I need your help. And off they went. Roy and Tech came to the entrance of the field. Where's all the mud gone? asked Tech in surprise. Roy explained that he had cleared a lot of it away. Tech wondered what the stones and planks of wood on the ground were for. We're going to make concrete. Make concrete? Make concrete! Oh, great! What do you want me to do? asked Tech. Go and fetch some sand, said Roy. Sand? Okay, fine, said Tech. And Tech immediately ran off to get Tommy the trailer. Tommy, Tommy, you won't believe what we're going to do today, said Tech. Uh, go to the beach, wondered Tommy. Go to the beach in autumn? No way, said Tech. Bark, 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 bark. No, cluck, cluck, of course not. No. What then, said Tommy. 
We're going to help Roy make concrete. Concrete? Ma? Yes, concrete. C -c -c concrete. And with that, Tech pulled Tommy out of the machine shed and across the farmyard to a pile of gravel. Are you ready, Tommy? Asked Roy. Um, uh, I don't know, said Tommy the trailer nervously. But before he could think about it anymore, Roy was loading gravel into his trailer. Oh, oh, I feel very full and heavy, complained Tommy. Suddenly, he burped. <coughs> Oops, excuse me. Come on, said Roy. Sizzling snowballs, you weigh a ton, Tommy, grunted Tick. Then Roy shoveled some sand into Tommy the trailer. Before the three of them reached the field entrance, they stopped at a shed along the way to collect a bag of cement. Thanks for carrying all this, Tommy, said Roy, as he lifted the bag of cement. I think we have everything we need now. What's happening now, said Tommy. Tech unhooked his friend and parked him by his side so that Tommy could see exactly what was happening. Water! You need water, Roy, said Tech. Luckily, Roy had fetched the water already. Now, Max the concrete mixer was ready to go. What's happening? What's that noise? Asked Tommy the trailer. Max the mixer has started mixing everything up. To make concrete, you have to put in three shovels full of gravel, said Tech. Roy loaded one, two, three shovels full of gravel into Max's turning belly. It made a loud rattling noise. Then Roy threw in two shovels full of sand. Last, he shoveled some cement into Max's tummy. Water! Water! shouted Max the mixer. Why is he shouting? asked Tommy. He needs water, said Tech. He explained that water helps blend the cement and gravel together. After adding some water, though not too much, Roy placed the bucket on the floor. Everyone watched as Max churned and turned the mixture. Is it ready yet? asked Tommy the trailer. No, said Tech. It's got to be mixed more. It doesn't look like concrete at all, said Tommy. It's wet. Concrete is always wet until it dries. Then it becomes hard, said Tech. Oh dear, Tommy the trailer knew absolutely nothing about making concrete. Roy emptied
emptied the concrete over the area he had prepared and spread it across the stones with his shovel, smoothing it out until the surface was even. There we are, all done. The gap will be much cleaner now, said Roy. But he had one more favor to ask of Tech and Tommy. He wanted them to guard the wet concrete to make sure that nobody walked through it, leaving their footprints behind. Oh, don't worry, Roy. We'll make sure that no one walks on the wet concrete, won't we, Tommy? Sure we will, said Tommy. So Tech and Tommy waited patiently, watching over the concrete. Then Nell came by. Beep, beep! No, no, don't come any closer, Nell! Tech hooted his horn as a warning. The concrete is wet, shouted Tech. Nell was so frightened that she ran in the other direction. Bah, 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 bah. Hello, Tech and Tommy, clucked Winnie. What are you doing here? asked Cluck. Guarding the wet concrete, said Tommy. Can I see? asked Winnie. No, you can't. Stay where you are, shouted Tech, or your footprints will be in the concrete forever. Goodness me, did you hear that, Cluck? said Nancy in surprise. What did he say? Our footprints would be in the concrete forever? Ah, count me out, cackled Cluck, flying away. Oh, dear, Tommy yawned. Muck and mud cakes. I'm exhausted, sighed Tech. Watching wet concrete was tiring work, and he felt his eyelids get heavier and heavier until they were almost closed. Galloping gaskets. It was very hard work keeping his eyes wide open when he was so tired. But just as his eyelids were about to close again, he heard sheep bawling. Sheep, he shouted, but he couldn't see them anywhere. Sand and gravel, they must be in the field. If they are, they'll surely run through the gap and into the wet concrete any minute now. Oh, oh, he started his engine and drove through the wet concrete, leaving tire tracks all over it. Roy laughed, and so did Tech. He was so busy keeping other people's tracks out of the concrete that he forgot to watch his own tire tracks. Oh, Tech.
I'm feeling great! When you feel a temper or a tantrum coming on, don't scream or shout, don't run about or take it out on everyone. Just whack a cushion. Scrunch a Hit a bag. pillow, then. One, one two, two, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, count to ten. One, one two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, no, ah, oh, 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 oh. When you feel a temper or a tension coming on, don't scream or shout, don't run about or take it out on everyone. Just whack a cushion. Scrunch a beanbag. Get a pillow then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Count to ten and soon you'll be okay again. Hooray! The world, my friends, is full of things we've never seen before. Enjoys the box, we'll find out what they're really for. And take a look, enjoy my box, it will be great fun. There's so much to discover, there's so much to be found. Let's take a peek, enjoy my box, excitement's guaranteed. There'll always be that something new right there for you to meet. Then take a look, enjoy my box, it will be great fun. There's so much to discover, there's so much to be found. Joey's Toy Box.
Hi, Aziz. Hi, Dozy. Yo, Snoozles. What are some of the dreams you've been working on for tonight? Well, I made a dream for Sammy. All about a red truck that you can push anywhere, and it makes real truck sounds. Room, room. And I made a dream for Nancy, all about playing with her very own puppy. <laughs> wow, those sound like wondrous dreams. Now it's time for you to make your dream wish for tonight. What do you wish to dream about? Well, let us know and we'll send it right out. Cause making dreams is what we do. So let us know, then we'll make it for you. You've got to send a dream wish every night. And when we get your dream wish, we'll make it just right. You've got to send your dream wish. And when you do, Every day, the Shushies make dreams just for you. And every night, Conductor McCloud drives the mighty Shushie by train to bring your dreams as you fall asleep. Conductor McCloud is a very important Shushie, and all the Shushies and Shushie by appreciate his hard work. So one day, Dozy had an idea. I think there should be a day to honor Conductor McCloud. Why don't you write a note with your idea, Dozy? And I can give it to the Shushy by King. Dozy instantly took Snoozle's advice and wrote a note with her idea. The next day, Snoozle's left for Slumber Heights, home of the Shushy by King's castle. Snoozle's brought Dozy's note with him and presented it to the Shushy by King. Hmm. What's this? It's a note from Dozy. <laughs> Indeed! <laughs> this is a most wondrous idea! Why, I shall proclaim today to be Conductor McCloud Day! Yes, yes, and to honor our mighty conductor! We shall throw him a surprise party! The Shushibai King then sent word out to all the Shushibai villages and towns. Shushis throughout Shushibai went to the Shushibai King's castle for the big party. Conductor McCloud could hardly believe what he saw. There were shushies everywhere, led by the shushie by King himself. In recognition of his most wondrous work in driving the shushie by train each night, delivering dream boxes to boys and girls, I do declare that this day shall be Conductor McCloud Day! Let the festivities begin! <laughs> Conductor McCloud was so grateful, he didn't know what to say. It was a most wondrous party. And it all started with an idea. Sometimes the smallest idea 
can make the most wondrous things happen. And that's the Shushy by Baby show for today. So pleasant dreams. And from all the Shushies and Shushy by, Shushy by a good night. Shushy by a good night. Shushy by and good night. Fun time. <laughs> this program and the information and materials contained in this program are for informational purposes only and are not a substitute for medical advice or treatment for any medical conditions. Consult with your physician before starting any exercise program or engaging in any of the activities contained in this program. I'm Monique, your flying ace gym teacher, and I'm just flying around doing dive bombers. I'm going to touch down for a landing, and we'll do dive bombers together. Whoa! Coming in for my landing, look out below! get to those dive bombers in just a second. Let's see who joined us today first. We have Sydney. Hi, Sydney. Hi, sweetie. Hi. And over here, we have Jaden. Hi, Jaden. Hello. And we're so glad you're here, too. Can we start by singing our hello song? Let's tap those little knees and rub those tummies. How about some tickles, too? Woo! And find those little cheeks. Ooh, and hide those eyes. Peekaboo. One more. Say peekaboo. And let's clap our hands together. Hi, hi, how do you do? Welcome to my gym. We're here for fun and some games. Now it's time to begin again. Hi, hi, how do you do? Welcome to my gym. We're here for fun and some games. Now it's time to begin. It's time to warm up our bodies. So we get to do different stretches. Can you put your arms out to the side? And mommies can, or daddies can help if you need to. And let's start by reaching and stretching. Here we go. Reach and stretch. Reach and stretch. Reach and stretch. And now both arms way up and down. And go way up. those little knees. Whoa! And can you take those little arms out and across and out and across and out and across out and across and tickle those bellies. Very nice. Now let's go to our toes and let's have our feet go apart together, apart together, apart together. Together and let's lift both of those legs way up to the sky and down and way up to the sky and down. How about way up and do a peekaboo? Hi, let's do one more. Up, 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 peekaboo and do some pedaling. That's really great to stretch those hips. Pedal, 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 pedal. And now put on the brakes. A great warm-up. I'm ready 
for those dive bombers. Are you ready? And we have my buddy Austin here to help us. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see what we're doing. I stretch my legs out and oh, Austin, come here you. He, he's gonna lie down with his head right by my tummy. Hello, peek a peek a boo. And I'm gonna take my hands and grab him firmly by his upper thighs and taking the pressure off of his neck, I slowly tip him upside down and then we're gonna go up, 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 up and down. And up, 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 up. Whoa, and when they come down, you make sure you take that pressure. You can flip them this way like he's arching or make sure no pressure's on his neck as you bring him down. Okay, let's try that all together. Are you ready? Are you ready at home? Let's lie down on our legs. Hi, and make sure you have a nice firm grasp on their upper thighs. No pressure on the neck. I slowly go up, 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 up. Woo! Peekaboo! And down. And woo! And make sure you really make sure there's no pressure on their neck when they come back down. All right. And that was so much fun. <laughs> Are you ready? We're gonna roll our hands and up and down and out and back in. Here we go. Rolly poly, rolly poly, up, up, up. Rolly poly, rolly poly, down, down, down. Rolly poly, rolly poly, out, out, out. And back towards your tummy. It's rolly poly, rolly poly, in, in, and in. Let's try. Those dive bombers again. Are you ready? Let's all lie down on all of those laps and make sure you have a nice grip on those thighs and say, I see baby's toes, I see baby's knees, I see baby's belly. Well, that's all the time we have for today. But I hope you had fun. And show me your goodbye fingers. Are you ready? Goodbye to you. We'll see you soon. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye to you and you and you. We'll see you real soon. Goodbye, bye, bye. Goodbye, bye, bye. Goodbye, bye, bye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye to you. We'll see you soon. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye to you and you and you. We'll see you real soon. Goodbye, bye. baby's own pace. Every little one is different. And my gym at home is fitness made fun for kids. Right? Trying something different, learning new words, it's broccoli. making new discoveries, or just making himself laugh. <laughs> Little ones will expand their social skills and their vocabularies as they experience and learn about life right along with the sweet and very funny Harry the Bunny. See you soon. Catch Harry.
Carry the Bunny each and every day on Baby First TV. Hey, Danny. Hi. What are you drawing, son? Tell me what you see, Daddy. Okay. Here it is. Huh? Hmm. So? Aha! Uh -huh. That's the number of times Daddy is wrong. Zero. <laughs> no, Daddy. Try again. No. Guess again. Oh boy, that's uh. Um, well. Ah, that's another number with circles. Eight. No, that's not it, Daddy. No. Try again, Daddy. Um, um, I, uh, hmm? um, oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got tell it. Tell me, tell me. We feed those in the park. It's a duck. Huh? No, Daddy, no. Really? See, look, here's his hat and some buttons. It's a snowman. Oh, I didn't guess it. <sighs> hmm? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Daddy! I've got another. Yeah? Guess what this is? Huh? <laughs> it's a heart! <laughs> oh, you drew your dad a heart! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Flower. 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 Flower.
bath time is fun. We're not going to take a bath right now, but join me while we make our own water world. Come along, let's get creative, skillful and inventive. Use your hands and jump, start your imagination. Join us and we'll keep you busy. Crafting's fun and easy. Slap a smile on and let's get to work. There's nothing that we can create. We'll grab whatever's on our plate. Spark your mind, roll up your sleeve. You'll be amazed what you'll achieve. Brush, stroke, splash, glue. Take the old and make it new. Brush, stroke, splash, glue. We've got so much fun lined up for you. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Baby DIY. Welcome, I'm Sharon, and this is our water world. In our own special water world, we're going to make some friendly fish and a raft that really floats. Hi, Mia. Are you already playing in our water world? Mia's playing in our little pool here, and we're getting ready to make our raft. This is Mom Victoria. Does Mia really like to play in the water? She absolutely loves the water. <laughs> we have a few things in the water that we're playing with, but we also have some things we're going to make our raft out of. Something that floats very well are these meat trays because they're made out of styrofoam. So that's going to be the beginnings of our raft. Do you want to try it, Mia? Terrific. Ooh. Good job. And we'll make our friendly fish out of a latex glove. The only other things that we need are some markers to decorate our fish, a sail for our boat, and we're ready to sail. The products needed for the Waterworld mask are styrofoam meat tray, latex glove, markers, construction paper, wood craft stick or drinking straw, scotch tape. So, should we get started with our boat? She loves our boat already without the sail. So if you'd like to take the meat tray. In our little basket, we have some pre-cut construction paper sails, and we'll give one to Victoria. There we go, Victoria. And this is a craft stick that we're going to tape the sail onto. To tape our sail on, we're gonna use a roll of scotch tape. So we're gonna tape the sail onto the stick, press the stick into the meat tray, Easy. We really wouldn't even need the sail for Mia. She doesn't really care. Her boat's already floating in the water. Can we float the tray? There's your boat. Wow. And there's your sail. Great job. Oh, Look at that. Cool. Are you ready to make some fish? I think we really need some fish in our water world. We're gonna make the fish out of a latex glove. We're going to take the, the latex glove, pinch back the thumb, and blow the whole thing up together with the fingers extended and the thumb inside. It's a little fishy balloon. The fishy balloon. We tie a knot in and that becomes our little fish's nose. Look, Mia. There's our balloon. Fish. Fish. So much fun. Is that pretty? Should we make an eye on the fish? Where's your eye, Mia? Eye. Eye. And our little fish's eye is going to go right here by his nose. permanent marker because the water will wash off um, a washable marker. So I'm going to do this myself for Mia. Is that okay, Mia? We're going to do an eye on this side. There's the big eye. See the eye? Hi. Say hi, fishy. Hi, fishy. There's one eye. 
There are two eyes, and there's the other eye. Here it comes. Wake up, fishy! There he is! Something about adding eyes to a craft always wakes up the animal. Children love it much more when there's eyes on it. Look at that. Oh, he's a happy fish. Look, Mia. Look, Mia. See our happy Yay. little fishy? Do you like him? Our fish is going to go swimming in the water. Here we go, Mia. Swimming in the water. There he goes, our little fishy. Can we drop him? Oh, can you get the fishy? Get the fishy. Oh, do you want to float the duck? Oh, you can put him on the boat. Oh, that was a big crash. You put all your ducks in the boat. Can we see a yellow duck, a pink duck, and a green duck? Yellow duck. Yellow. Green duck, good job. And here's the pink duck. And they're all floating on our friendly little raft that we made. Well, Mia's getting wet. I think we've had fun getting wet too, haven't we? I think it might be time to say goodbye to our friendly little fish and our little raft. Thank you, Mia, for playing with us. And Victoria, thank you so much for coming to be with us on our show. Bye-bye. Love you. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin loved his name, even though it was hard for other people to say. He didn't care that it wasn't simple, like Davy or Bobby, or easy to say, like Timmy or Scotty. No, Rumpelstiltskin loved his name because it was special. And he also loved it because his mommy and daddy had chosen that name just for him. So when people had trouble saying it, he didn't get upset. He would just play a little game, like he did on the first day of school. That day, the teacher asked everyone to stand up in front of the class and introduce themselves. Rumpelstiltskin was last to go, but he wasn't scared. Proudly, he stood up in front of everyone and said, My name is Rumpelstiltskin. I know it's a hard name to say, so I have a treat for the first person who can say it correctly. The whole class got very excited. A treat? They started practicing immediately. Can you help me practice their name? They said, Rum? 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 Rumpy? Rumpy. Keep trying, said Rumpelstiltskin. Rumple? Rumple. Rumpelstilly? Rumpelstilly. <gasps> You're getting closer. Rumpelstiltskin. Yes. Rumpelstiltskin, a little girl yelled from the back of the room. That's it, clapped Rumpelstiltskin. You said my name. Hooray! And here's your treat. Rumpelstiltskin reached into his pocket and pulled out a shiny piece of gold. Ooh, said the class. But the little girl from the back of the room said something else. She said, I don't want a shiny piece of gold. Would you want a shiny piece of gold? Yeah. You don't, asked Rumpelstiltskin. No, said the girl. I just want to be your friend. Oh, why, thank you, said Rumpelstiltskin with a smile. And I want to be your friend, too. Rumpelstiltskin gave the girl a hug. One of the other boys in the class raised his hand and said, I want to be your friend, too, but I have a problem. What's that, asked Rumpelstiltskin. I still can't say your name. Rumpelstiltskin laughed. 
That's okay. I know that my name is very different. I have a rhyme I can teach you to help you remember it. Will you help me say this rhyme? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what he said. <gasps> Great, said the boy. Wait. So Rumpelstiltskin cleared his throat and said, Even though it's different and doesn't sound the same, Rumpelstiltskin is my name. The rest of the class tried the rhyme. Can you try it with me? Okay. Even though it's different, Even though it's different, And doesn't sound the same, Doesn't sound the same, Rumpelstiltskin, Is my name. Is my name, yes. Yay, they all clapped. That rhyme helps us remember how to say your name. Now we can all be friends. And they were. They were friends forever and ever, and those children never forgot how to say Rumpelstiltskin's name ever again. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. The end. Take your right hand out You give your right hand a shake, shake, shake And turn yourself around Here we go loop-de-loo Here we go loop-de-light Here we go loop-de-loo All on a Saturday night You put your left hand in You take your left hand out You give your left hand a shake, shake, shake And turn yourself around Here we go loop-de-loo Here we go loop-de-light Here we go loop-de-loo Saturday night, you put your right foot in, you take your right foot out, you give your right foot a shake, 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 and turn yourself around. Here we go, loop de loo, here we go, loop de light, here we go, loop de loo, all on a Saturday night. You put your left foot in. You take your left foot out You give your left foot a shake, shake, shake And turn yourself around Here we go loop-de-loo Here we go loop-de-light Here we go loop-de-loo All on a Saturday night You put your whole self in You take your whole self out You give yourself a shake, shake, shake And turn yourself around Here we go loop-de-loo Here we go loop-de-light Here we go loop-de-loo all on a Saturday night Here we go loop-de-loo Here we go loop-de-light Here we go loop-de-loo All on a Saturday night You put your whole self in You take your whole self out You give yourself a shake, shake, shake And turn yourself around Here we go loop-de-loo here we go, loop de light. Here we go, loop de loo. All on a Saturday night. Here we go, loop de loo. Here we go, loop de light. Here we go, loop de loo. All on a Saturday, all on a Saturday, all on a Saturday night. Family Fun Time.
Rainbow Horse. seem a perfect match but look a little closer you'll find that there's a catch when one thing just stands out and three things look the same we have to point it out and call it by its name 
What's different? What's different? I found it. What's different? We're going to look at four pictures. Three will be the same, but one will be different. Let's look. It's a gift box with a pink bow. A gift box with a pink bow. What's next? Another gift box with a pink bow. That's a gift box with a pink bow too. One more. Let's see it. That's a gift box too. Is it with a pink bow? We have four gift boxes, but they are not all the same. Can you spot what's different? Is this gift box different? No. This one's with a pink bow, like most of the others. How about this one? This one is with a pink bow too. This one matches the other gift boxes with pink bows. So what's different? This one is different. This one is with a blue bow. These are gift boxes with pink bows. The gift box with a blue bow is different. Good eye. You can spot what's different. Bye bye. can do it. Try again. You did it! <laughs> Funny puzzle. Yay! You put it together. One, two, three. What does it make? Can you see? A brush. Phew. Good job. I love puzzles. I hope you had fun doing a puzzle too. Toodle doo.
Tunnels.
motion.
what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna share my toys with you. That is what I am gonna do. Sharing toys is sure lots of fun. Gonna share my toys with everyone. I'm gonna share my toys with you. That is what I am gonna do. It's so nice to share. It's so nice to care. It's so nice to make friends. Come along and play. It is a okay to share until the day ends. I would like to be friends with you. So here is just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna share my toys with you.
slow music works. We're making slow music. Music works. Let's play fast music. Yay! We're walking to visit violin. Violin, listen to our slow music.
Listen to the sounds as they fill the air. Bonnie's magic brush will take us there. Oh dear Bonnie Bear, let's all play the listening game every day. Listen to the sounds as they fill the air. Pictures come alive. Can you see them there? Oh dear Bonnie Bear, let's all play the listening game every day. Listen to the sounds. Listen to the sounds and play. Bonnie Bear. Do you want to play the listening game? Mm-hmm. I do, I do. My magic paintbrush is ready, too. Okay, then. Let's play. <laughs> Did you hear that sound? Let's listen to it again. What could it be, Bonnie? That's a vacuum cleaner. That's right, Bonnie! A vacuum cleaner! <laughs> okay, now I'm going to play another sound for you. Ooh, did you hear that? Let's listen to it again. What could it be? I know. That's a spray bottle. <laughs> That's right, Bonnie. A spray bottle. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to play another sound. Get ready. Did you hear that sound? Let's listen to it again. So, what could it be? I know! Water from the sink! That's right! Water from the sink filling a bucket! <laughs> Bonnie, let's listen to the sounds again. A vacuum cleaner! A spray bottle. Water from a sink. So, Bonnie, can you guess where you can hear those sounds? I can, I can. Whee! Those are sounds you hear while someone is cleaning house. That's right. Sounds that you hear while cleaning the house. <laughs>
my favorite shape. Red is for strawberries and big reindeer noses. Yellow for sunshine and even some roses. I love all colors. I think they're the best. So come join us all in our big color fest. Petey the Paintbrush! Hi, I'm Petey the Paintbrush. I love to paint using all different colors, like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. What's your favorite color, Petey? A favorite? I don't have just one favorite color. I love them all. I choose colors by what I feel like painting that day. What do you want to paint today? Hmm, today I feel like painting a jewel. What color should I use to paint a beautiful jewel? Purple. Today I'm going to paint with purple. And I'm going to start by painting a jewel. Look at how that pretty purple jewel sparkles. Hmm, what else can I paint with purple? I know! A yummy plum. Purple plums are a delicious fruit snack. Mm. <coughs> Whoa! That plum really was delicious. I can use purple to paint a fancy bottle, too. Watch this. Pretty purple bottle. You know what else you can paint with the color purple? A lollipop! A tasty purple lollipop. Today, I painted with purple. I made a... a sparkly purple jewel. A yummy purple plum. A fancy purple bottle. And a tasty purple lollipop. I bet you can find something purple to paint today, too. I love color, oh yes I do. I love them all. Do you love colors too? Bye bye!